country of Victoria. We've just uh, had a wonderful day's trip up to Craig's hut, so join us for another exciting episode in Graham and Anne's Great Adventures. We based ourselves at Mansfield in Victoria, great little town, top bakery and a uh, terrific caravan park right in town where we uh, parked the zone. Craig's hut is about an hour and a half drive from Mansfield. There's three main ways to get up there. Take your four-wheel drive, ride your horse, or fly up in a helicopter. We drove up in the cruiser. The track's really good actually. You only need uh, high range four wheel drive vehicle for about the last two kilometers of the track. When you reach Craig's hut, there's a car park just right outside the grounds. You can uh, easily park. And there's also uh, toilet facilities there as well. At an elevation over 1450 metres above sea level, there's some spectacular views across the Stirling Ranges. We did meet some people that uh, had come up by their four-wheel drive, had ridden up on their horse, and now they wanted to fly up here, so they arrived by helicopter. above you get a spectacular view of the whole area. As it's not a national park up here it's also dog friendly so Shadow was very excited to come up and check out the high country. All you have to do is keep your dog on your lead. Sure if it's the altitude, but Shadow seem to be very excited to be up here. And if you do venture up here, make sure you bring some warm clothes. It's quite cool. I almost felt like I was on the set from the man from Snowy River. It's fairly basic inside and you're not allowed to camp in here and they've closed off the fireplace. We met Darren and all his mates and uh, they talked us into uh, taking a few snapshots of them in front of Craig's hut. So put this on your bucket list, it's well worth the trip up here and uh, make sure you check the weather before you come up. So we waited for several weeks to get a fine day to get up here. I wanna do it all with you by my side. If you're in, meet me here tonight. Be brave and come along, I'll be alright. Promise we don't need no brake lights. We can travel the world, so just say yes. Choose to do whatever comes next. There's also great picnic facilities up here and uh, we ordered a table with a view. Nothing much better than that. We then moved uh, across the uh, ranges and uh, visited Razorback Hut. Razorback Hut is one of the many huts throughout the uh, high country. Oh, and seen some horses. Razorback Hut, sometimes referred to as Razorback Hilton, was built by Jack and Tom Purcell in the 1950s 
as an outstation for summer cattle grazing in the area. It was originally just one small hut with a fireplace and bunk beds but has been extended and renovated over the years. Other huts were also brought. People do come trail riding with their horses and can stay overnight. They just have to uh, keep the horses uh, 30 metres away from the hut. On the same day, we uh, visited an alpine village. At 1800 metres elevation, more spectacular views. So we're up at uh, Mount Buller Ski Resort at the moment. Fairly quiet today as the ski season has finished. 18th of November and uh, we still saw some snow. <laughs> <laughs> There's still snow to play with. <laughs> the co-pilot does like a bit of fud in the Alps. And here's the man from Snowy River. Little snowmobile fire trucks. There's loads of accommodation up here, it must be very busy in the uh, snow season, especially only being three hours drive from Melbourne. There's some beautiful mountain streams up here in the high country and uh, we certainly packed in a lot in one day, but uh, great adventure, so uh, put this on your list if you're uh, down this way to come and have a look. Well that's all folks, the three of us will be back soon with another episode. Thanks for watching.